All right. Get set for blast off. Safety goggles, everyone. Have you ever uh, watched the special effects in a movie and thought, geez, how'd they do that? Well, the Mad Dancing Scientist is here to let us know about a few secrets from, from Hollywood. So we're going to make some snow and we're going to make some oh. That's right, Rob. So today we're going to talk about the science of movie special effects. Okay. And everyone knows that um, all, all, most of the movies are made over in Hollywood, mm -hmm. California, and they don't exactly get snow like we do here in Wisconsin, no, or like we just did. So today we're going to do an indoor winter scene, and so for that we're going to have to make snow. Okay. And it's actually really simple. All, all we have here is tap water okay. and this special dry, super absorbent polymer material, which will help us make the snow. Now that'll make a lot more sense in about a few seconds when we actually do this. So I got one for you and one for me. Okay. And all we're going to do is take the water and really quickly we're just going to dump it in. Ready? Let's be real fast. Real fast. Okay. Ready? Three, okay. two, oh. one. Okay. You just got to give it a minute. Check Another, that out. Oh, look at that. More snow. Isn't that a, very good? Mine's not doing a darn thing. Did I didn't pour no, it fast you, enough? You didn't do it right today. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, if you actually check this material out, oh, it's no really kidding. fascinating. If you feel it, it actually feels like snow. It's soft. Because it absorbs 50 times its weight in water. And because it's made mostly of water, it actually feels yeah. like real snow. It's as soft as cotton. That's right. Oh, also, they something? use this in baby diapers to absorb the um, liquids. And they also use it in indoor snowboard parks where snowboarders can actually ride on this material. Is that right? And then if they fall down, they kind of stay dry, even though it actually feels like snow. It's spongy. You can't, you can't, you can't really pack it. You can't make snowballs. That's, a, that's the downside. Snowballs. Okay, and finally. They, they do use this in snow. Hollywood, so check that out. Isn't Here's that a something? It's a little wet. But okay. All right. So our second scene today, we're going to make a low-lying fog effect fog. for an eerie and spooky scene. Okay. So what I have here is dry ice. All right. And it's basically solid carbon dioxide gas, and it's negative 78 degrees Celsius. So extremely cold. Very cold. You don't want to touch it. Okay. What's interesting is it goes, That's careful, <laughs> directly from a solid to a gas in a mm -hmm. process called sublimation. Sublimation. Perfect. Okay. All right, so today we're going to make our fog effect simply by adding um, some hot water All right. onto the carbon dioxide solid, which will sublimate, cooling the air, and making us a nice eerie fog, fog. effect. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? There Lights. Camera, action. Oh no, what's happened? Check that out. Oh, is that? And it actually, it sinks because carbon dioxide is heavier than air, and you can see it's actually covering the entire newsroom. Charlotte, look! <laughs> we made fog! <laughs> <laughs> so there oh, we go. Cloud. What did you do? <laughs> We're oh, learning. <laughs> We're learning about science and movie special effects at that the same time awesome. and having some fun. That is really cool. Now, when will it stop? When, when all this melts? Or Basically, something? the hot water kind of cools down, and once okay. it gets cold, it it's kind of comes to an end. That is outstanding. Look at that. How do you like that? Pretty cool. Oh, very cool. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks hey, for having me. Hey, you want to see more of this and get more information from uh, Jeff, just go to that website right there, the Dancing Mad Scientist. All right.